Hey, 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 what's up guys? Hey, 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 hey. Hello guys, this is Sir Boyet of Sir Boyet Science Vlog and welcome to my channel. Describe the motion of an object. In everyday life, motion is so common. We are surrounded by moving things. Some move slowly, while others move much more quickly. Some travel in a straight line like the car, and some move in circular motion like the earth. All our activities involve movement. We have to move in order to complete our task. Motion will always be part of our daily life. What is motion? Motion is the change in position of an object with respect to the time. The motion of an object can be calculated using the formula speed is equal to distance travel over time of travel. When an object changes its position, the motion of an object can be described in terms of distance and displacement. A displacement is the shortest distance from the first to the last position of an object. The displacement can be measured in terms of difference between the first and final position of an object. While distance is a description of how far apart objects are. When we measure displacement in terms of difference between the first and final position of an object per second, we call it velocity. Velocity can be measured using the formula velocity is equal to displacement over time of travel. Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement of a body with respect to time. Its unit in SI is meter per second. How will you compare speed from velocity? Speed is simply a measure of how fast you are traveling while velocity is speed in a given direction. Comparing speed and velocity, speed of an object is the rate of change of its position. Speed is equal to distance over time while velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement of a body with respect to time. Example, let's describe the motion of the car according to speed. This car is traveling at a speed of 20 meters per second. Now, let's describe the motion of the car according to velocity. This car is traveling at a velocity of 20 meters per
Persican East Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement of body with respect to time. Its unit in design is meter per second. On the other hand, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object with respect to time. Acceleration is measured in terms of meter per second of or meter per second squared or meter per second squared. If the speed of the car decreases or if the acceleration is in the opposite direction of the vehicle, we call that as deceleration. Speed of an object is the rate of change of its position. The unit of speed is the meter per second, but the most usual unit of speed in everyday usage is the kilometer per hour or in the US and UK miles per hour for air and marine travel the knot is commonly used the fastest possible speed at which energy or information can travel is the speed of light in a vacuum which is 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately 1,790,000,000 kilometers per hour. The fast moving object has a high speed and covers a rel relatively large distance in a short amount of time. A slow moving object covers relatively small amount of distance in the same amount of time. An object with no movement at all has a zero speed. Let us take examples. Example A. While on vacation from school, Luisa went to travel on some part of the Philippines, especially on some tourist destinations. She traveled a total distance of 440 miles. Her trip took 8 hours. What was her average speed? To compute her average speed, we simply divide the distance of travel by the time of travel. Therefore, Lois average speed of 55 miles per hour. Speed can be measured through a device called speedometer, which reads the average speed during the course of the trip. Example B. Your dog runs 4 meters east, 2 meters south, 4 meters west, and finally 2 meters north. The entire motion lasted for 34 seconds. Determine the average speed and the average velocity. The dog ran a distance of 12 meters in 24 seconds. Thus, her average speed is equal to 12 meters over 24 seconds equal to 0 0.50 meters per second. Since the displacement is 0, the average velocity is 0 meter per second. Remember that the displacement refers to the change in position and the velocity is based upon the position change. In this case of the dog's motion, there is a position change of 0 meters and thus the average velocity of 0 meters per second. Example C. A tricycle drove to a passenger's house that 20 meters away from the station in 10 minutes. What is the speed of tricycle? Speed equation. Speed is equal to distance over time. Answer, 2 meters.
Mira. Example D. Gyros drives an average speed of 45 kilometers on a journey of 135 kilometers. How long does the journey take? Find the time. We need to define distance by speed. The answer is 3 hours. Example A. The Nilo runs at average speed of 8 km per hour. The fear lasts for 6 and 1 half hours. How far does he travel? To find the distance, we need to multiply speed by time. The answer is 52 km. In studying motion, it is very important to know about this. Kinematics is a branch of science that study motion. Scalar quantity is a quantity that has a value but no direction. Instantaneous speed refers to the speed at any given instant in time. Average speed is the average of all instantaneous speeds calculated simply by a distance over time ratio. Displacement refers to the difference between the first and last position of an object. Average velocity is the total dis displacement of an object divided by the lapsed time. Velocity The vi vector quantity that represents the rate of change of displacement. Physical quantities Scalar and Vector Scalar is measured with magnitude with no direction while Vector has magnitude and direction Examples of Scalar Length, Mass, Time, Electric Current, Temperature, Area, Distance, Speed, Energy, Density, and Power Examples of Vector is Displacement, Velocity, Force, Acceleration, Momentum, Weight impulse and pressure speed is a scalar quantity because if you measure speed you do not include the direction while velocity and acceleration are both vector quantity because when you measure them you need to include the direction types of motion we have Linear or straight line motion. Description movement of an object along a straight line. Number two, non linear or curvilinear motion. It is parabolic, projectile or projectile, wave, circular or elliptical. Three, periodic motion. Motion that repeats itself after definite time intervals. Number four, rolling motion. Combination of linear and curvilinear motion. Measuring speed with time and distance. To find speed, you must measure two quantities, distance traveled by an object and the time it took to travel that distance. Notice that all the speeds are expressed as distance unit divided by time unit. The SI unit for speed is meter per second. The slash symbol is read as here or means divided by. Speed is sometimes expressed in other units as kilometer per hour. You can find the speed of an object by dividing the distance it traveled by the time it took to travel that distance. Most objects do not move with constant speed. A 
speed of object can change from one instance to another. A useful quantity is called average speed can be defined. Average speed is simply the distance covered by an object divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Since speed, distance, and time are all related, we can calculate distance and time by the simple arrangement for that formula. Distance equals speed, speed times time. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. Did you learn a lot today? Well, that is, that's it for this lesson. Until next time!